What's poppin' family? How's everybody doing today? It's your boy Chodo speaking as usual. The favorite, your favorite YouTube criminal, your favorite Instagram criminal, whatever y'all want to call it. Anyways, family, so let's get into this today. So, what's been going on with Ilhan Omar and the whole anti-Semitism allegations in regards to Lindsey Graham and Donald Trump calling Ilhan Omar an anti-Semite for criticizing the Israeli government and also the Saudi Arabian government. So now, apparently, you're a racist if you criticize a government? Yeah, sure. Or anti-Semite? Yeah. She's very close to being Semitic. She's part of the Cushitic family because she's Somali. and But she's, she's black, obviously, yeah. But she's Somali and Cushitic. And that's close to Semites. If if y'all dumbasses want a real, real history about who the Semites are, it's black people. Black people are real Semites. Let's be honest. I'm Harik, Tigrinya, the Giz. That's, that's a Semitic. Those are Semitic languages. We're the original Semites, not these damn Khazars. Because let's be honest, the racist Khazars like Netanyahu. Netanyahu is a racist, man. And he needs, he needs to be checked. And I'm going to say this. Do I agree with everything Ilhan Omar says? No. Like I said, I'm independent. No. I'm not I'm not a big fan of her. But I got to give her credit where credit is due. I have to give her credit that she did check. She checked Israel. She checked Israel. She was discussing about the funding and stuff. And it's true. Yeah. Israel, Israel is, a, is a fascist government. Just like Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is a fascist ass government. There's nothing different. I, I find it interesting how some of these conservatives like Lindsey Graham and all of these Captain America people, these pseudo-Captain America and cap, pro-capitalism, pro, pro-everything, pro you know, or like pro not even pro-capitalism, bro. It's not even about capitalism or socialism, you know. It's just like they're so ignorantly patri patriotic to send or like they believe in, oh, this sort of government is going to work everywhere and stuff like that. They they have this m mentality saying that, oh, this place is evil. This place is evil. This place is evil, evil. Like, for example, Venezuela. Yeah, I know Venezuela's got a lot of problems. I agree with that. In Venezuela, it's horrible in Venezuela. And the problem is I have is that you say, oh, well, Venezuela, the people there can't have guns and this and that. Well, yeah, that's the same in Israel too, bro. A lot of people, primarily black people, Ethiopian Jews, can't get guns in Israel. It is impossible to get guns. Also, they sterilize you. They want you to abort your babies. You're against abortion here in America. Oh, my God, 20 million black babies have been killed. I agree with you. 20 million black babies have been unjustly killed. Because of abortions. But when you say, oh, I stand with Israel no matter what. God bless Israel. God bless Saudi Arabia. They say that before they even say they're damn, they're darn country. Damn, bro. You put these people above your own goddamn country and you call yourself a patriot? Man, your, your butt should be part of the, the Israeli renaissance or something like that. Or Saudi Arabia renaissance. That's what you pro. You ain't even pro America, you, you, you goofballs. Man, some of you, some of you cats are just goofy, man. <laughs> That's all you are. Y'all just some goofy ass dudes, bro. Man, man, God bless Israel, bro. Bless yourself. Bless your own nation. Bless your state. Bless your district before you go and fight for Israel. Shit. Talk about Israel, man. Let me tell you something, man. Why, why are you so obsessed with this regime, bro? Like they sterilize black females in in Israel. They they slaughter. They go around vomiting on black people. They they behead us. They, they're like ISIS, bro. They they're just like ISIS. There's no difference, man. And some of them, man. And also, man, you can't even have a gun in Israel, bro. And then also, they they strip you of your passport and shit. Like you can't even travel anywhere if you're if you're a black Jew there, bro. Or even most people, they can't even travel. Most people want to get the hell out of there. A lot of people. Because it's, it's a Khazar supremacist government. That's who owns it. Netanyahu is a, is a racist, man. He he has the audacity to say anything about anybody else. Bro, your own country is, is about to collapse. Idiot. Man, people are annoying, bro. Uh, it's, it's really annoying. And the entitlement complex. This guy is so entitled. You, you made him... You made him become the most entitled person in the world. He feels entitled. He's never going to get out of office. People are saying, I want him to one day get out of office. 
bro, he's been there for thirty five years. He'll never get out. He's in. He's he's gonna die in his throne. And you know who we blame? We gotta blame all the damn presidents that supported him, from Reagan all the way to Trump, Obama to Obama bent over backwards for them. And then all these people like, like, bro, like, dude. And people say, oh, anti-Semite, anti-Semite. Okay, well, they're killing the black people in Israel. That's anti-Semitic. So the Israel is the Israeli government is aborting babies that are black, and then they're Semites who are from a Semitic speaking country. They have a Semitic language, so they're the most anti-Semitic country on the planet. That's being anti-Semitic and criticizing the racism in Israel doesn't make you an anti-Semite. And first of all, Benjamin Netanyahu is not an anti. Is not even a Semitic person. He's anti-Semitic, yeah, but it, but he's not even a Semite. He's a Khazar. He has Turkish and Mongolian blood. He's he he's a so-called Ashkenazi Jew. He's not even Ashkenazi Jew or pure blooded. He's got he, this is a problem I have with the law of return. It doesn't really give pure bloods the the real recognition in that society to even come back there. It, and it's, they're just perpetuating the same neo-Nazi fascist ideology that they had in other nations too. And it's kind of sad, bro. It's, it really is. Man. Uh, anti-Semitism, anti-Semitism, bro. You don't even know the the first thing about anti anti-Semitism, man. Criticizing your government, so, uh, so, and and I understand. No, there are some people who who are who are hateful, bro. Like I understand that, and it doesn't give you an excuse to be anti-Semitic. Criticizing Israel, I would say this: criticizing Israel doesn't make you an anti-Semite, but it doesn't give you an excuse to be an anti-Semitic Semite. And I say this: I don't hate anybody. But I really do hate some of these, a lot, all of these racists, bro. Whether they're from Israel, America, Saudi Arabia, everywhere in the world. And for you to deny people the rights based on their national origin, color, their skin, ethnicity, that ain't right. And for you also to abort people, to take away their guns, yeah, that shit, that, 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 that shit's foul, man. I gotta call you out on that shit. You ain't no goddamn democracy or a republic or any peaceful country. You're you're a savage. You if you do that, you're 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 not. I don't even consider you human, man. You're you're a devil straight from hell, bro. And you need to. Uh, I I ain't finna say it, bro, cause I'm I'm gonna get killed or I could I could probably lose a lot of things, bro. But God is gonna make you get you one day for all this thing. Taking away someone's guns, bro, and taking away from the people, bro. That, that, that that's a that, that's a sign of Satan, bro. And and God. God don't like ugly, bro. God don't like these devils, man. And for you to... And the reason why I always say Khazar and stuff and about the, the Turkic Mongolia, Turkish and Mongolian blood, I say that is out of pettiness. I do really would... I wouldn't care if they if they lived in Israel. I'm not tripping on them living in Israel. Uh, my the problem is when you perpetuate a, that, that sort of system... That disenfranchises people, that kills people. That's what I have a problem with. And it doesn't matter if you're from a Democrat or Republican viewpoint. It's it's the policies, man. And you're not doing a very well job at it. And criticizing Israel does not make you a damn anti-Semite. All right, family? Anyways, family, I'm going to head out. God bless y'all. Have a good day.